worry a little less about your pride and a little more about the creepy crawlies shawshanking their way out of your balloon knot. Come on, kids. Off to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Thank God I finally get some time away from the evil monkey in my closet. It's Brian. Oh, yes, the new fellow. Come on in. Uh, what, what uh, exactly am I supposed to do? You'll pick up the phone and you'll sell, sell, sell. But before you go thinking it's all seriousness, the first Friday of every month is Wacky Tacky Tie Day. So, you know, start thinking up some fun, tacky ties to wear. Oh, we're, uh, we're done. Here you go, guys. Lois, could I be a son of a bitch and imp- And, um, uh, enjoy it here. Welcome aboard. Yes? Uh, it's Brian. Oh, yes, the new fellow. Come on in. Uh, what, what, uh, exactly am I supposed to do? You'll pick up the phone and you'll sell, sell, sell. But before you go thinking it's all seriousness, the first Friday of every month is Wacky Tacky Tie Day. So, you know, start thinking up some fun- Tacky ties to wear. Oh, we're, uh, we're done. Oh, Brian, there you are. Uh, can I talk to you about something? Uh, yeah, what is it? That coffee mug you have on your desk that says Life's a Beach? Um, that's dangerously close to the word bitch, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's the joke. Oh, absolutely, and, and nobody appreciates a joke like Stewie. And, uh, you know, between you and me, I think it's a stitch. But some of the other employees have found it offensive. Other employees? Who else works here besides me? F*** you, that's who works here! That is sensational. You really made me feel confident about those numbers. Listen, if you're ever looking for a change of scenery, we could sure use a fellow like you in Cincinnati. That was you in disguise. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Fine, it wasn't. Ha! It was! Mr. Pewdishman, I need your help. Lois is out of control. I mean, she's acting crazier than I did that time I tried ecstasy. Oh, Brian. Your fur is so sharp. But I totally nailed it. All right, Meg. We're going to start with a little word association. I'll say a word, and you say whatever comes into your head. Okay. Mosquito. Bite. Hmm, bite. Mosquito. Oh, yes, good one. Uh, mosquito. Bite. Mosquito. Bite. Mosquito. Bite. Bite. Mosquito. Aha! Very good. You are a worthy opponent indeed. Congratulations, you're hired. Your first job is to go down to the corner and tell that hobo I admire his spirit. I'm too self-conscious to do... Thank you for coming, Deep Throat. You'll understand if I don't come out from the shadows. My identity will be safest if you never see my face. Uh, okay. Mayor West hasn't slept at home for three nights. Kermit the Frog? <gasps> Somebody talked! No one is safe! I'm getting out of here! Yay! What's his appeal? They should make a tube that sends you right to work. That would save a lot of gas. But I guess the- Good evening, I'm Diane Simmons, and I'd like to welcome you to Quahog's fifth annual talent show. Let's have a round of applause for our first performer. There's no mustache like my father's mustache. That's the biggest mustache in town. Play me off, Johnny. Ah, what else be funny tonight? Uh, Star Jones got married. That was in the news. Uh, married a black fella, which is quite a surprise. Cookies. <gasps> oh my god, I have a great idea. Let's make cookies! We don't have to, Lois. Look, there's a magical land of desserts right behind you. Ah, what else be funny tonight? Uh, Star Jones got married. That was in the news. Uh, married a black fella, which is quite a surprise because I'd call her quite a catch. And black guys, by and large, uh, they're not so helpful on a fishing vessel. Now, Portuguese, absolutely, absolutely. I even had a couple of Japanese guys who worked out great. Thank you very much. You guys have been terrific. 
And now, our final... Great. Great. Uh, how's everything else going? Good. All right, all right. See you later. Don't forget. Nah, you're not going to forget. Hey, Peter, I was going through your garbage, and I noticed your high school reunion is coming up. Why were you going through my garbage? Well, when I stopped over earlier, I noticed Lois clipping her toenails, and I thought, oh, man, I got to get in on that. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to my reunion. Everybody's all got their nice cars and their big important jobs and their fancy hats and their fresh strawberries. So oh, I am so happy for you, Peter. What the hell happened to you? I, uh, fell down the stairs. Well, you should be more careful. All right, I'm ready. Come on. Good game. Good game, everybody. Yeah. Come on. Good game. Let's get out there. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. 110%, everybody. 110%. Yeah? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Good game. Ready. Blue 20. Blue 20. Hot, hot. <laughs> Griffin, let go. Wet Celtics. Worse than when I trusted Brian to pack my parachute. Brian, care to place a wager? Tomorrow night on Fox's Celebrity Boxing, I've got Carol Channing beating Mike Tyson in three rounds. Carol Channing? You've got Carol Channing, the actress, beating Mike Tyson, the box. Morning. Good day to you, sir. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Getting real tired of you <laughs> ducking me, man. <laughs> yeah? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got money to pay for fake mustaches, huh? Yeah, yeah, how, how much you pay for that fake money in gaming laws? And we're back with Fox Celebrity Boxing with Mike Tyson and Carol Channing. I tell you, Jim, how Carol Channing outlasted that barrage in the second round, we'll never know. Come here, young man. I'm gonna bop you one. She's getting beat! No, she's getting mad! Eh, you ain't so tough, young man. 